Now in this video, let us try to clarify the concept of uh, the identifier naming rules with a simple Java demo program. So first let us try start with a integer identifier. So let's give it a name called int var. So int var. Let us see uh, and also let us initialize this integer with a value of 100. So let us see if this program compiles correctly or not. And well, let me add one uh, output line also so that uh, if the program is okay, it should print the value of var like this. Otherwise, it should throw an error in this output window. So let's see. So int var equals 100 and system.out.print or system.out.println var. Now, here if I just run this program, as you can see, there is no problem in the program and the value of var that is 100 have been printed because there is no problem in the identifier name. It is all like uh, alphabets so this is an acceptable name now let us try to introduce a number in this identifier instead of call it where one where let's call it where one and let us print the value of where one now so if I do something like this then also as you can see this is also an acceptable name for variable because the number is coming in the end so it is acceptable so 100 have been printed without any error and not only in the end let us put one somewhere in the middle right after v let us put one number let's say v3 v3 ar1 and let's see whether this is a the acceptable name or not so let me run it once again and here as you can see that this variable is also not throwing any type of error because uh, number or numerical uh, values uh, or the numbers can appear can uh, appear anywhere in the variable other than beginning now let us let me show you an example with a number in the beginning let's say i'm putting three in the beginning of this variable name so now the variable name is 3v3ar1 so let's see whether this program runs properly or not and now if i just run this program as you will see that well there are several errors why the meaning of this error is like this variable name is basically uh, unidentified so the program is uh, going into uh, is throwing different types of errors and if you just want to get rid of all these different types of errors you just need to get rid of the numbers in front of this v and now if i just run it once again you will see that eventually the program will run properly so let me wait for some time because this is a online server which is executing the java program and returning back the result so it is taking some time so let us wait until the result is back in here and as you can see that this program is not throwing any type of error anymore so that is about the use of numbers in a variable or identifier or constants name now let us try to utilize an underscore so as i have told you can utilize underscore anywhere in the variable so let's use an underscore in the end first and let us try to print the name of the variable so like this 
and let me run this program and as you can see it ran properly so underscore at the end is accepted and not only in the end but you can utilize underscore anywhere in the variable name so let us introduce another underscore after this three so v3 underscore ar1 underscore something like that and now let us run this program and uh, let me see whether this variable name also run properly or not so here as you can see this variable name is also accepted and not only that if i introduce an underscore in the beginning also that will be also accepted name so underscore can appear anywhere in the variable name okay so now the next thing the next thing is as i have told you cannot use any other special character other than this underscore so that means you are not allowed to use let us say this uh, hash symbol and let's say v3 a after a there is a hash symbol i have introduced now let's see whether the program runs successfully or not and now if i just run this program as you can see once again you started getting lots of errors because hash is not acceptable anywhere in the variable then neither in the middle nor in the end nor in the beginning or anywhere hash is not acceptable so let me show you another example with hash in the end whether i am getting the same error or not so let me just run it and as you can see still i am getting several errors like hash is not accepted so if you want to get rid of the error you have to remove this hash and this is not only for hash this will happen for any other character uh, any other alphanumeric character other than the actual alphabets so you are going to get the same error if you use this symbol like this anywhere in the program because this is some other symbol other than the alphabets so uh, you can try with any other different symbols uh, as a practice exercise just to convince yourself that the rules that we have learned for the variable naming you have uh, understood that and you are now you can now define some val valid variables or constants in java